My name is Mike Taylor. I work for San Rafael City Schools. My name is Alexandra Macedo, and I work at the YMCA. Diana Kennedy, and I'm the general manager of Volvo Cars Marin. Ivan Mum, uh, I'm a site coordinator for the Marin YMCA. Rafael Ramirez. I currently work at Volvo Marin. Tori Kelly, and I'm the Associate Executive Director here at the Marin YMCA. It's Mark Leffler, and I'm a Marin County Public School Elementary teacher. So our after-school programs, we have about 70 to 90, 70, 80, 90 employees that we work with who work with our kids every day um, across all of our school sites. And of those folks, I think maybe three, four, five of them live in San Rafael still. Uh, a few more live in Novato. And then the rest of our folks usually come from Petaluma, Sonoma County, um, across the bridge, Richmond or West Contra Costa, and then a few live in San Francisco as well. I live in Hercules, which is about, uh, it's about a 40 minute commute for me uh, to and fro. I live in Richmond. Um, it's across the San Rafael Bridge. So I commute to work here every day currently live in Fairfield, California. Coming here takes about, about 45 minutes. Going back takes about another probably an hour, hour or so. So I guess in a daily basis, an hour and 45 minutes, no, two hours and 45 minutes. Every day? Every day. Every day. We have roughly 40 employees and 70% commute outside of the area. Yeah, I would say about 60% of our employees currently are outside of Marin County. If there's an accident, I'm done for. And uh, sometimes I may even miss the release of my kids because uh, the, the, my coworker and I both come from the other side. Sometimes when there is traffic, I do spend maybe around like 40 minutes. When it's really backed up, it's like an hour, about two hours sometimes. The difficulty is that the, the cost to live here in Marin is so high that our entry-level positions, which we have many of, are coming outside the area. And these entry-level positions are not just minimum wage, but we're finding that we have to pay, you know, a 50% higher than minimum wage just to be able to recruit someone. Because again, you have to factor in the commuting time, getting across the bridge. And so that in turn causes our entry-level positions to be at a high cost. A lot of our staff who are doing the heavier commutes are ones who are not, um, having families of their own yet. Um, and I do worry about the retention and the ability of those fam of those staff when they do decide to have families and are still working outside of this area, if we'll be able to retain them at that point. I really have to pinch pennies because I have to pay almost 50% of my salary each month to my rent and utilities. Financially, it, it does take a toll because you know, I have the set amount on my fast track every month. I have to pay it off because, you know, I have to commute here. Um, and, you know, it really affects, you know, my paycheck because it's like I'm living pay to, paycheck to paycheck. That kind of decreases my quality of life. And, you know, like I was mentioning before, sometimes I'll have evening meetings with parents. And so then I have to drive an hour home at night. So it just kind of really affects things if I couldn't live in the same county where I work. You know, economically, it takes a bit of a toll. I think it costs me about $20 to get to work every day um, with gas and uh, bridge. That's 100 bucks a week, so that adds up definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely has an impact on me for sure. I'm sure a lot of our businesses are suffering with entry-level positions and the difficulty in filling those positions and the fact that we have to look outside of our county and our county is large. I mean, why should we look outside of our county? We should be able to employ people who live here in Marin County, but the only way to do that is to have affordable housing. We really want our staff to stay with us. Um, they build these amazing relationships with our students throughout the day and throughout the course of a year that it's, it gets even better if they're there for a second year, if they're there for a third year maybe, and then if they're there for a fourth year, the relationships just get so wonderful and strong and the things that the kids feel comfortable doing with their teachers, it's, it's pretty magical. You know, we actually had an employee that started here and within two weeks decided to quit because the commute was just too much for him. And, you know, we believe in work-life balance and, you know, we want people to be able to work their eight, nine hour shift. But when you add a commute time to and from on top of that, there is no work-life balance. There is no quality of life. 
Um, I know for myself, I grew up in Marin County, would love to live and work here and stay here. Um, and I got priced out of living here. So my family and I ended up moving up to, to Petaluma and to Sonoma County. And that's a real thing, right? So the quality of life is that you want to be able to live, work and play in your community. Um, and the quality of life does somewhat go down if you're not able to afford to do so. If more people our age who are just kind of starting out in a profession like teaching were able to afford to live here and there was affordable housing, I think we could attract more candidates. Um, Marin County is certainly experiencing a teacher crisis and I think affordability has a lot to do with it. I've, I've definitely weighed um, the amount of time and money um, that it costs me to get to work every day. Uh, as well as, you know, just traveling stress and things like that. And uh, I think it's, I love my job, but I think as, I, as I've gotten older, I've realized like sometimes you have to analyze like if things are really worth it and if they could be had elsewhere. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. People want to work where they live. I mean, this is a pretty good case in point is just sitting downtown in San Rafael, right? If our if our people who work with our kids from, you know, 2 to 6 p.m., if those folks could also then not leave, not drive an hour to go home and just stay in San Rafael, the chances of them seeing someone that they know increases by 100 percent. Hi, Stacey. Um, that's a perfect case in point. So I guess really the the way I see this working is Right, we build relationships with our students throughout the course of a day at school, and then after school, the students build relationships with the actual staff. If they have the chance to see that person at the market, at uh, um, downtown San Rafael, right, getting ice cream or grabbing a coffee, this the awe of the child when they see that staff, the excitement of the oh my gosh, you live here, you come here, is is incredible. The sense of community that would be created by allowing the housing market to be affordable and to be able to allow our staff to live here, work here, and create community here is something that's not only invaluable to the employee, but invaluable to this community. I would like to be able to call Marin home because if I live here, it would feel like I'm actually part of the community. I would love to be able to allow myself and my employees here at the Marin Y to be able to uh, work here and live here and to be able to call Marin County home. I would love to make Marin home and I would love to have access to a nice local living and um, it'd be great to work where I live. I'm a teacher in Marin. I love serving this community and I want to call Marin home.